Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back inside Soul Belly Barbecue for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. It's always a great time at this event, full of fun, friends, and former, and future, Room 6 alumni, making it a reunion every time. This one was the holiday show as well, so get ready to get your bells jingled. Hey, I know what you were thinking. See you on the naughty list, buster. Opening things up like usual was our host, Hal Savar. Hal has a new song that released last Tuesday, the 20th, called Next Year. Surprisingly, it's his first real original release, and I did a review of it, which you can go check out when you're done here. It's always a treat to hear Hal play, but my favorite thing is to watch the reactions of audience members who haven't heard him before. His vocals ring out strong over dynamic chord structures as he weaves a story into each song. It's always a great way to start the show. Following Hal was Anna Duerden, who's been on the showcase stage a couple of times now and is quickly becoming a favorite. Anna sings from the heart and plays with conviction, and this time was no different. Letting her listeners into her life a little, Anna proceeded to take us on a musical trip through her memories. Her voice soared and dipped, and she did a strong job of following an opening act like Hal Savar. After Anna was Joe LaRocco, also known as Joe the Associate. Joined on stage by members of multiple acts that would be playing later that evening, Joe took everyone a, on a different kind of trip. Joe's music is equal parts Pink Floyd and Joe Walsh, and it's just as authentic and quirky as he is. The next act was the popular duo called All at Odds, featuring Rick Munson on lead guitar and frontman and singer-songwriter Just Jeff. Do I even have to say it? Fine. Yes, that's really his stage name. This pair of performers takes the simple concept of two guys with guitars and inject a little humor and laid-back storytelling into the mix. With tales about relatable topics like being called the wrong name by a lover, they did a great job entertaining the crowd. After All at Odds was the incomparable talent known as Kook. Exuding a cosmopolitan air tinged with punk and folk sensibilities, Kook's music transported the audience to a world full of pure emotion as their voice floated over all of us telling songs of love and heartbreak, and it's easy to see why audiences always love when Kook performs. Following Kook's amazing performance was another dynamic duo in the form of Emily Stinnett on vocals and guitar and Nathan Peterson on lead guitar. While this pair of musicians might have the same format as All at Odds, their sound is uniquely their own. Emily's singing style is decidedly Americana, and Nathan's playing fit the songs just right. I'm looking forward to getting them on the channel soon for an interview, and hopefully a performance. Coming up next was Sage Waters, a familiar face that we haven't seen in a while, and she's been sorely missed. Sage's music is full of upbeat moments, sprinkled with lyrical vocal runs, and a genuine honesty that is endearing. Her set was a delight, and the crowd loved it. Following the trend of Joe the Associate, another band hit the stage. This time, it was showcase regulars The Soulful Sons. This band sprang up out of the music of Quinn Turner, who coincidentally also fronts the band. Their sound is old school sexy, and the vibe is laid back and chill, so everyone was relaxed and in a receptive mood for what was next. Next was a special treat. Hal brought backup Kook to help out showcase favorite Aubrey Digital with a song. Aubrey is a consummate songwriter and performer, and with the addition of Kook, her music got somehow even better. It was actually a shame there wasn't time for more music from the pair, but everyone greatly appreciated what we got. Taking over the stage next was the tour de force known as the Lisa Mack Band, starring powerhouse Lisa McFarlane on guitar and vocals, Jules Manning from The Chefs on bass, and Cristobal Silva on drums. All of these musicians are a force to be reckoned with separately, so together they were unstoppable. Lisa's vocals blasted through Jules' driving bass lines and Cristobal's solid backbeat. And when I say Jules was on the bass, well, you can see for yourself. Finishing out the night was Chalmer, a man and a band that share the same name. Chalmer and his band were a great way to end the evening with music that alternated between inspirational and motivational. Chalmer has no problem belting out the tunes, and the band made sure to keep up. All in all, a great way to finish things out. Except, we're not done. <laughs> Grabbing Kook for one more song, Hal hit the stage to uh, play everybody out to the brisk winter's night. It was a great way to finish a great evening of fun, friends, 
and awesome music. Overall, this month's Songwriter Showcase was one for the books, and I'm glad I was there to enjoy it. Next one is January 15th. See you there! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that we will see you January 15th at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street in Las Vegas' downtown arts district, either in person or on the live stream. If you want to join on the live stream, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out when I post about that. Uh, what else? Oh yeah! In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do. Down there. Hope you have happy holidays and a happy new year. And uh, yeah, remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time in room six.